I was notified, and, uh, and I'm always available. Now, unfortunately, the Congress will not be in session when he's here. But, uh, you know, I've spoken to, to the ambassador, uh, and, uh, and I've spoken to others in the Greek community, uh, and I'm always available to, to be helpful uh, for the prime minister to have access uh, to administration. And, and uh, the leaders in Washington, meaning the, the Speaker of the House, most likely will be there as well. Uh, so again, uh, you know, the, the government reaches out to me and I do everything I possibly can. I, uh, I'm very pleased that, uh, that uh, the, the relationship is, has been very, very good. Uh, it's always been good, but it's, it's even better than it's ever been and we can do even more. What do you think is the U.S. agenda that, the, that President Trump will try to promote during the visit of the Prime Minister? Well, what is that the U.S. wants from Greece right now? What, just a, a, a strong partner uh, and, and I think that uh, there's no conflict between uh, the, Greece and the United States. That's why it's so easy for me because it's beneficial that the strong relationship is beneficial to both countries. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I've talked to, to the defense minister recently about uh, Karpathos uh, being an extension of uh, Suda Bay and, and having maybe a facility in, in the northern part of Greece as well. Uh, and, and I think that that would benefit both countries. So uh, and then, of course, I want a five-year extension on, on Suda Bay. So we'll discuss that as well. Uh, and, and for Greece, uh, I think that we need to, uh, you know, the United States, but also Greek Americans and, and Philhellenes have to encourage uh, foreign investment. There's so many opportunities there in uh, improving the economy as well. So it's beneficial to Greece too, uh, economically as well, and to have that presence. But it's very important to the United States as well. And Karpathos was chosen by uh, the uh, Defense Minister Kamenos because of the strategic location. Now I know there's a few issues, uh, uh, but but I th we think we can get past uh, those issues. Mm -hmm. uh, what are those issues? You mean well, the Greece treaties, the, the, no previous treaties uh, going back to the the 20s, mm -hmm. uh, when Saint D. Miller to raise uh, the okay. the mm -hmm. uh, But that's that's something that I've spoken to the Defense Minister mm -hmm. about, and and we think that. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, but and I know you have a good relationship with the defense minister and the minister. I, I have a good relationship with all Greek officials uh, because it's in the best interest of Greece. I don't feel like I should be choosing who is elected in Greece. Mm -hmm. I have personal beliefs, of course. but I try to keep them to myself because I want to have a strong relationship with whoever is elected, prime minister, uh, the president, members of uh, the parliament. What does, uh, what do your Greek politician friends, and including, what's for example, Defense Minister Kamenos, that yeah. is an important uh, partner well, of you know, Kamenos tells you about the Greek agenda. Yeah. What is the Greek, what, what do the Greeks want from Trump? Let's put it this way. Now. Well, I think we need to, the, cyber, the issue with Cyprus is, is probably number one. Uh, and, uh, and it needs to be resolved. But when you don't have a partner, you don't have a, you know, uh, this Erdogan is not serious mm -hmm. uh, about solving the issue. Uh, I think that if he stayed out of it, we could. Uh, even the issue, the, the name issue uh, with, with uh, Firearm is very important. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, cooperation, uh, homeland security assistance uh, with the migrants uh, is, is very important. But I'm very encouraged because uh, both administrations, when I talked to uh, Mr. Tsipras a few years ago, I told him that, uh, you know, make my job easier uh, and, and, and be supportive privately and publicly of the United States. That way I can do even more. What advice would you give to Prime Minister Tsipras, knowing the Republican Party and knowing President Trump much better? Well, I think you, to form a personal relationship, that's important to, to President Trump. Uh, and also uh, to be open, uh, not favor one political party over the other. I think that's so very important. And I think that, uh, you know, again, I don't think there's any conflict here. Uh, it's in Greece's best interest, it's, it's in the United States' best interest that we become strong allies, and we have. Uh, and President Trump, uh, you know, I, 
I uh, was asked to be uh, Greeks for Trump in the general election. Uh, it wasn't very organized, but I did everything I possibly could on my end. Uh, you know, from the campaigns in, it wasn't extremely organized. But uh, so, so that was that was good, and he knows that. He knows that. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yeah, I think he needs to be open-minded. Uh, you know, we have an opportunity. Turkey has been a very bad actor, uh, and and I can say that uh, freely. Uh, Turkey has been a bad actor. Uh, Greece has been reliable, uh, dependable over the years going way back, way back, how many wars? There are only three countries that have been on the side of the United States in, in the major conflicts uh, throughout history, and Greece is one of them. Another important issue for at least Prime Minister Tsipras yeah. coming to the U.S., maybe the most important issue for him and for his political future, mm -hmm. is the crisis in Greece yeah. and the debt issue. Yeah. He's hoping to find uh, support into reshaping, reforming, or even cutting down yeah. well, Greece's debt. Yeah. Now, President Trump, before he, beca before he became president, he said that this is a European issue, it's Europe's problem, mm -hmm. Europe created it, and Europe has to solve it. Mm -hmm. Do you think he has changed his stance, and do you think he will help Greece in the debt issue? Well, I think he, he should help Greece, and, and we need to be on the side of Greece. And, and you know, right now the way it's uh, structured, it's practically impossible for Greece to pay off the debt and, and take care of their uh, their constituents, their their citizens. Uh, so uh, uh, I yeah, I think he'll be open to it. And I know that Tillerson has been, uh, uh, as a private citizen, has been a strong supporter of Greece and Cyprus. So I think he'll have an influence as well. Admiral Stavridis is a very close friend of, uh, of uh, Kelly, who is now the uh, chief of staff as well. So uh, yeah, I, I think he should, and, and, and I think he will. Mm -hmm. And my last question is, my have, you talking to, uh, have you talked recently to anybody from the administration about Greece, and what are the feelings of this administration towards Greece? Well, uh, I would say that they're positive, positive. Uh, and, and I'm pleased to see it, and uh, you know, I, I don't like it. it. It offends me when uh, when people speak of Greece. This is a tough situation for them economically, and they, if they speak badly of Greece and that they've been irresponsible and what have you. Uh, you know, Greece is really the only stable democracy in the region. Uh, Cyprus, Greece, and Israel. That's why I work to, to, to you know, form a strong bond between, the, obviously, Greece and Cyprus is natural, uh, but, but Israel as well. And when I go to Israel, I speak to uh, Netanyahu directly uh, about the issues, and they're very strong supporters. So uh, it's in our best interest in the United States and in Greece that we remain very close and work together.